Looks like summer's in the air. I've got my sun hat on too, but no, it's a bit early actually. It's only the first day of spring in England, so for, um, perhaps I'll put it away for a few more weeks yet, and then I'll get it out when summer really start. Oh, let's do, do you see what I did then? Very clever mechanism. Look, pops open like that. Put your hand either side, pre-twisted, and now it's three rings, not one big ring. What a clever mechanism. I knew this for years ago as a bandsaw mechanism, and uh, I'll show you how it originated. The original was a sort of um, thing like this, but made of steel. This is what I've made recently, just a, a copy of it. And then the bandsaw would have had teeth all the way along the top surface there, and then a backing at the bottom there. Now the trouble is it's got to go from the factory to the warehouse to the store and into your pocket and it's a bit awkward when it's a large, it's quite a bit bigger than this, the original bandsaws, and they easily would get kinked etc. So they discovered quite early on to ship it, all you've got to do is give a double twist like that and instantly it gets it down to a, a neat size. That's a very, very nice discovery. And there's so many things you can now do this, as I'll be showing you, because these are all what I call bandsaw mechanisms of different sorts. Just to emphasise the um, material that you usually use in all these ones, it's a bit of steel like this, a bit thicker than this most of it, but this will do the same thing because it's been welded, and if I do a little double twist, it clinks down to three tiny little rings, almost like a finger ring actually, it's rather nice, it's a finger ring. But to make it into a usable object, not a bandsaw, you've got to cover it with cloth, and then, as you've seen for the first one, the hat, you get some all sorts of extraordinary ideas. For instance, here's one I got on very early on, it's, um, it's a Japanese fan. It's got a little plastic handle. You take this out just by turning it and then release it, and it goes pop. You've got some Japanese script on it as well. And then you fan yourself, and when you don't need it anymore, you've simply got to twist it like that, and it moves so gently and easily into the handle, and that can go in your pocket. What a lovely idea. Here's another one I got a little bit later on, which is um, something we put in the Christmas pack, in a tiny sachet, a tiny little thing, almost a bit bigger than a finger ring. If I give it a click and woof, this time what they've done is put a bit of tension into it. So it, it's, it really is, it's got no kinks in it at all. And it's a whiz ring, it goes through the air and it's got quite a nice little tension there. And it, so it can be played indoors as well as outdoors, a sort of frisbee type ring. And we only finish playing with it, just a double twist like that. And that really is small enough to go into a pocket on this little sachet. So a lovely use for this been very versatile. Here's another hat that I picked up a little bit later on and it looks like nothing all like that but when you get a twist, oh yes of course it's a witch's hat so this will be Halloween. Put it on and see if it suits me. Oh yes. I'm ready for Halloween. Are you? <laughs> yeah well well. And then when you finish you just give a double twist and look how neat it is. Very clever idea. I'm bothered about the lighting in here. It's not quite what it should be, so perhaps we can improve. Yes, 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 yes. Look, here's a giant one of these, which I actually got from Photographic Studios. This isn't a toy, it's a proper bit of equipment that you'd use if a photographer in the studio. Give it a quick twist and oh, Wow, what a piece, all covered in silver. A bit damaged, but I'll tell you why. It's had a good use, actually. But if I put it about here, I think we're going to get light from the left reflected on here and give me a much more a better lit subject altogether. Put it away and you can see the difference. So it's a very, very clever mechanism used in studios to reflect the light to, to where you want it to be. When I first bought this about 30 years ago, I never used it as such. What I did was took it to a children's party and on a moment or impulse, I spread it out like this and I got three children aged about six to stand around, put their hands there and you can see where they've been putting their hands and we put their favorite teddy bear in the middle and we did a lovely, action like a trampoline with a teddy bear bouncing up and down. Tremendous fun. And I went on showing this for really quite a few years after that for children's parties as a, as a mechanism. So a lovely idea this. All I've got to do is learn to do the proper twist like that. Oh, there we are. Very neat. The most recent version I've come across is this one here, which is actually more to it than I realised. For a start, it's not round, it's an oval that made it. There's a pocket there, which you'll see has got a double purpose. Give it a quick flick, but we're not there yet. It's got to go more than that because this opens up into a, a sort of box. This is a laundry bag, isn't it? Look, and there's a place there for clothes pegs, I think, as well. Very simple and very elegant and very unusual shape, too, which is beautiful. And there's one, two, three, four of them as well. 
I do feel there's more you can do with the Banthorn mechanism, so I'm appealing for any other ideas you've got as to how we can adapt this extraordinary material and make some interesting things. Have a think. <laughs> <laughs>